This is Theory, and welcome to Aviation 101, Flying Fundamentals. This is the first video in a series where we'll look at how to fly jets in Battlefield 3, and eventually, how to become a dangerous threat in one so you can rule the skies. We'll start off with the basics in these first couple of videos, and then we'll move on to some skills and tactics that'll get you started off on the right foot. Then we'll finish off the series with some advanced dogfighting techniques. A quick outline of what we'll go over in this video is basic aircraft handling and how to stay alive. So let's get started with the basics. Basic aircraft handling. In the aircraft, there are three axes of movement, pitch, roll, and yaw. Understanding the basics of these movements is the first thing any fighter pilot hopeful needs to learn. You're gonna wanna get familiar with the controls so that you can turn, jink, or dive your way out of any situation. So let's start with a simple turn. All you have to do is roll the plane 90 degrees and pull up to begin turning. What you don't want to do is turn by pitching down. Aircraft weren't designed to efficiently do this. You'll turn much slower, you'll be uncoordinated, and you just make yourself an easier target to shoot down. So don't start off your flight training by doing wrong things. The other things I see new guys doing is trying to turn with yaw only. When you use yaw only, you turn super slow. It should be used for fine tune adjustments and in tandem with pitch and roll as necessary. Believe me, just make a normal turn, then use yaw to fine tune your aim. Next, we'll look at the pros and cons of first person view versus third person view. I absolutely love first person view. It gives you the feeling of really being strapped into the cockpit. You have the HUD up in front of you telling you everything that you need to know. You can see where you're flying, and you can look, look around using free look. However, I think DICE did a real disservice by not allowing you to look around while you're maneuvering. Because of this, you can't really build a 360 degree SA bubble any real pilot would have, SA being situational awareness. Third person view, on the other hand, gives you the big picture view of the battlefield to help you build that SA that first person view lacks. And it's extremely useful in dogfights. But on the other side, some things can't be done well in third person view, such as firing your guns, rockets, or missiles. Unless you're proficient with the aircraft, it's pretty hard to manage your speed which is extremely important in dogfights. Third person view offers a unique advantage for those who know how to use it, but I wouldn't suggest it for new pilots. Just learn the basics, get used to the jet, and become proficient with all the unlocks and perks. Work your way up to third person view, because you need to look outside the jet if you want to max perform it in both air to air and air to ground situations. It takes time to get used to the jets, so find an empty server and just fly around until you get comfortable with it. That's what I did. Next, we'll talk about how to stay alive. One of the biggest challenges to new flyers is simply staying alive long enough to learn something. Here are a few ways that could lengthen your flight time. Stay near your base. On most maps, friendly AA will be able to help you out if any enemies stray into your territory. On bigger maps, you'll most likely have two friendly AAs to help you out, mobile and stationary. Sometimes that's all the deterrent that you're going to need to keep enemies away from you. You're also going to want to stay away from their base, because the same applies for them, and new pilots make easy targets. Next up is work your way into position. Disables are going to be your best bet at this stage in the game. If you can consistently rack up disables, then you're on the right track. And when you're maneuvering into position, don't give yourself away by firing your guns too early. Wait for that good shot. Kills aren't that important right now. Just work on the fundamentals and getting comfortable with the jet. Focus on getting those disables, and if you happen to be in position for the destroy or the kill, that's even better. Keep your head up, earn those unlocks and perks, and in no time, you'll be an ace. That's it for this session. Next time we'll look at the HUD symbology and break down the sounds you'll hear in the jet. I'll see you guys next time. Aim high, theory out.